Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of X4. Today we're going to be talking about repeat orders in a little bit more detail than we did on our previous guide and that is the Q&A that I get or the FAQs that I get on repeat orders. First of all, let's talk about why they don't work. So I've got a little Okinawa here and I want him to bring energy cells from my solar power plant over to somewhere else probably Let's have a look i've got a new system here brennan's triumph factory so first of all we need to make sure that we have repeat orders selected secondly and the most common mistake is confirming the behavior if you don't do that it will revert to just doing one command next we want to set it so that it's going to do the first job now it is very important to notice the difference we mentioned trading and transferring words them two things are very different transferring words means you're transferring goods from one station to another irrespective of whether that station requires the goods trading however relies on buy and sell orders so when you're repeating the orders you are repeating a buy and sell order that is important because if the station you are trying to collect from no longer has a buy or sell order mainly a sell order for your first station and the buy order for your second station then it will not take any goods or receive any goods however mercury solar power plant one is full of energy cells so its buy order is maximum so i'm going to buy from we're going to select energy cells because that's the only thing that is available for trading Secondly, what you want to do is make sure that you have used, ca used cargo capacity from zero to the maximum amount that it can hold. The reason for this being is because if you've already got resources in your cargo hold, it will not allocate the space no matter what you do until you reset the repeat order and do it all again. Make sure that's noticed because if you're already full, then you will obviously not get a repeat order that you desire. Next thing you want to buy up to the maximum amount, unless you're doing anything other than the maximum amount, of course. The third thing is to set your price to as high as you can. Maximum price means that you will buy up to 22 credits per energy cell. The reason being that you put this in is because it's your own station, so you're only buying from yourself. So technically you are not actually now paying anything for it. This is, this is set one. Let me just get rid of that. The order has already been set. So now your ship will start to do it. The next thing we want to do is sell the words. Again, I'm going to go over to Brennan here. Brennan's Triumph. We'll do it from the map so it's a little easier to see. So the next thing I want to do is sell my words to complete my cycle from one to the other. This is just a basic example. You can do multiples if you so wish. However, let's sell two now. The first thing you will notice is there is only one option, which is sell to build storage. That is your first clue. That means this station has no way of storing your resources. This being that there may not be a container storage facility on this factory or whatever it is you're going to, or it is just basically damaged which you need to then repair again not having the storage facility so we can make a choice here if we want to sell it to the build storage so the build storage is always full we can do otherwise we need to find a new station for this purpose i am going to use a station that is already available to us when i work out where we are here we go and that's going to be here, which is a second contact trading station. This can do with an expansion, but it can take what we require. So now when we right click, you can see we can actually buy from and sell to. And still have the option to sell to build storage. If you left space within your capacity of your ship, you can buy from a second station and then sell both to a third station. However, we're full up, so we're going to sell to. We want to select our were which is energy cells. Now, before we select energy cells, there's a couple of things I want to discuss here. Number one, that ship cannot transport this word. If you cannot actually hold it, it will grey it out. 
Okay, now that they stopped talking, the next thing we want to do is set the quantity that we wish to keep. Again, you can buy from one and sell to two stations. However, we're going to sell everything to this one station for now. So our quantity to keep is 0 out of 42,000. Our minimum price we want to drop down. We'll take as low as 10 credits per, uh, per cell because, again, this is our own station. If you want to stop yourself from losing money, you can set them at varying angles of whichever one you want. So you buy it at, say, the maximum price you'll pay is 10 credits, and the lowest price you'll, pay, you'll sell at is 11 credits, then you're making one credit per energy cell, or to 2,000 credits. That you can do if you're selling to an AI station. But this is an example of selling to your own station. We can confirm that, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now you'll see you have buy number one and sell number two. Within these, they will do these here, which is to dock, dock and wait, and execute the trade, and then move on to the second step, which is to sell. Now, many questions we get is, what if my ship is buying and not selling, or vice versa, selling but not buying any more than it should do? Well, the first thing we want to look at is the station which is causing the problem. You will notice here that this station is pretty full up. But there's a couple of things that you will also notice from the screen is number one are these crosses and number two is the two colors here. The first one is trade restrictions applied to this were. That means you've set up a trade rule and applied it to this. I'm not going to discuss trade rules today. However, if you know how to do it and you've done it and you've forgotten you've done it, which says something like don't allow my ships to trade to it, then that could be causing it a problem. However, more than likely, it's going to be, like mine is, selling only, or buying only, from my own ships. To stop other factions from being able to sell to me. The second thing is, uh, is these colours here. The green and the orange colours. If we go to our energy cells, you'll notice that, at the moment, we've not got our ship coming to us because it's not collected the first trade, so it's not registering the second trade yet. However, there are a couple of things to note here. The first one is automatic storage allocation. I keep mine all automated because realistically things go up and down and my manager can manage it quite well. However, that could be set manually and could be affecting the reason why you can't actually sell or buy from the station. The second one is the automatic buy amount. If you deselect this, you'll notice we've now got the orange marker that we had below. That is telling me that this station will buy until it reaches this amount. If that amount is reached, the station will no longer buy. And a reason why your default kind of trades aren't working in your repeat orders. I've set it to currently automatic because at the moment it is pretty much buying and selling everything it can. The second one, if you're trying to buy from a station, is the same in reverse. You'll notice there's a green line here. Sell all but. This station at the moment, now that I've clicked that, will not sell anything to anybody because it's telling the station that I'll let you sell anything that's above 363,636. It's set to store that amount so it will never empty. But what we want to do is reduce it down as low as possible because what it will now do is say sell all but one. Now, you'll more than likely be able to buy from this station. So that's both sides from, from a station perspective. I'm going to keep that there because actually that's a pretty good thing because it means that my station is going to try and sell it. What I am also going to do is set my automatic buy amount to counteract my automatic sell amount. Or sorry, my manual sell amount. So it will now try and buy up to a maximum and sell up to a minimum. That allows my ships to trade freely with it until it runs out or it becomes full. If the storage is full, then the ships are going to keep going back and forward and fail trades. So hopefully that helps up why it may not be buying and selling. The other thing as well is that if a station is damaged or under attack and there's something that's a little bit unawed, like awkward about the, the collection, then it will struggle to do the repeat order. There's also things where the station will randomly stop trading for a minute. Maybe it's got a full, you know, input of ships, depending on what size of ships you've got. So if you've got a large ship, you've only got six here, six here, and six here. So you've got 18 slots that you could take large ships. If you've got 18 ships coming in and you become the 19th ship, 
it will sometimes skip the sell part and go back to the buy part, but it's already full. Sometimes as well, your repeat orders may constantly fail if you fail to sell all that's in your storage. In theory, the repeat order should write itself and then go back to selling and buying at the right rates. However, sometimes it does need a little help in hand. Now that 5.00 is on our doorstep, you will automatically see these little markers here. You see here, failed orders, execute trade, no cargo drones, no available cargo drones. That's another problem that we're about to discuss in a second. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that it will show you that there are things wrong with the ship. Your ship does the same thing. You'll notice at the moment it's got a white marker here, which means it's not failed any of its orders. If that becomes orange, it's failed one. And you should check it out and find out what it is. The final reason why your ships may not be trading may be down to cargo drones. If you're using a large ship in particular, that is definitely usually the case. Your large ship can carry its own cargo drones and the station can carry cargo drones as well. However, sometimes cargo drones are destroyed. For example, on the ship here, if we have a look at our loadout, you'll notice that we've got no drones at all. So this station will never be able to trade without the other station having drones available. However, it needs its own cargo drones. So all you do to rectify that is find yourself a shipyard, upgrade repair, go to your consumables, and plant a load of your cargo drones in, like so. I usually chuck in a few laser drones, laser towers as well, but that's a little bit of bonus. Get a quick repair, drop that in, confirm the order. That ship will now continue to do its trades. You will notice that it's not been able to do any trades because it's not had any cargo drones. So you can now clear these. Once it's done its uh, change equipment, you can see if it fails the orders again. If it does, then you know that there is something else wrong and you need to look into it. You notice there's quite a few here that have got issues that you'd have to go through. But it's a good example of what to look for with your own ship especially if you know for example i use this as an energy cell transporter sometimes you notice it's got a repeat order you can also notice it's not failed any of its orders that doesn't mean it's not failing orders however if we head on over to the asteroid belt where that ship is you'll notice it's here where is it going to it's going to the mercury solar power plant excellent is it actually doing anything awaiting orders point of this is just getting the police interdiction so this may not actually be buying anything. So again, what you can do is you can delete all. Or you can have a look. It's telling it to buy 480 energy cells. And then to sell to the asteroid belt. Trading station. So is it actually doing this? So what you can do is watch it and see if it does it. You can check its cargo currently. You can see it's got full energy cells. So it's now going back to the buy, which is going to buy a couple. As you can see, 480, which fills it up full. But why is it not selling fully to this station here? Well, it's not going to be in there, your logbook, because this station doesn't pay. Hmm. It seems to me that there's plenty of space. Automatic buy amount. And automatic sell amount. Now we should see that that ship will probably sell everything that's now in its cargo hold. Rather than holding on to a few. Because what it's doing is, it's basically saying, I only need a couple from you because I've got all these coming in here. And all these coming out here. And they kind of balance the books, so I'm happy. I don't need any more from you, so goodbye. The bird that in mind. You've got cargo drones, happy days. And that's pretty much it for repeat orders. The same concept goes for anything to do with mining, attacking, or anything like that. Attacking is a bit of a weird one because obviously once you've attacked a station, it's generally destroyed, so the order no longer exists and can cause a repeat order break. The other one that's generally used is for patrolling. Instead of patrolling, why not set up your repeat orders to actually do attack targets in range? That generally helps with pirates in areas that you know are going to be choke points. For example, if you're mining in a certain area, as you can see here, you can see patterns. 
you can see ships that generally turn up and start attacking. So what you can do is you can get your ship here. Let's have a look what this ship's doing. It's currently holding position. Perfect. Let's set it up on a repeat order. Repeat order. Confirm. Now what we can do is we can now tell it to attack targets in range. And we can set it up to do multiples in a small area. That area now is completely covered by this ship, so it's going to continue to attack targets in range. It's going to go to order 1, 2, 3, and back to 1 again. It's just going to keep going in a circle, hopefully clearing ships that are attacking our mining ships. So the repeat orders is definitely not to be overlooked with. Hopefully that's helped you set up repeat orders and hopefully clear some of the reasons why they may not be working. If there is another reason why it might not be working or if there's something else that you're having problem with, then please let me know in the comment section and I will dig deeper into it. If I can't find the answer myself, I will find the answer for you and I will get back to you personally or via another video. Hopefully these FAQs are helping you. And again, if there's anything else that I can help you with other than repeat orders, then please again comment in the comment section below or otherwise you can join our discord where we have people on our discord that will help you and i will take the questions that you ask and form more of these guides for other people who may not be able to find the answer overall i hope these help you be able to play the game better as i've said check out this discord in the description if you do wish to join us and hopefully you'll let, you will and you can enjoy more of the game and more people that do play the game otherwise please hit that like subscribe and comment for more content until next time everybody take care for now and i shall see you all on the next one bye bye for now